And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time, WebNet1. It's a forensics challenge. Description, we found this packet capture and key, recover the flag, hints. Try using a tool like Wireshark. How can you decrypt the TLS stream? Now, obviously this is very similar to WebNet0, so I'm gonna go even faster through this one. If you have any concerns or you can't quite follow what's going on, go ahead and check that prior one, which I'll link above. So I've downloaded the PCAP. Let's go ahead and let's open that. We'll look at our high level statistics, just like we always do. Although I'm only gonna look at the protocol hierarchy. And again, we can see this is entirely encrypted. So 94% of the bytes are encrypted. The only things that are really going across that we can see are uh, headers and other trivia like that. So let's go edit, preferences, protocols, TLS. And we'll add an RSA key. This is going across 443. You can see right there, that's the typical HTTPS uh, port. The protocol we want to dissect is HTTP. I know it seems like it should be HTTPS, but uh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not because of uh, the way Wireshark views this. Home users, I'm just grabbing now the key. PicoPico.key. Okay. And again, gold standard for knowing if we actually decrypted traffic. Statistics, protocol hierarchy, this should now display information. And it does. We used to be stuck with 94% of the information encrypted, and now we can see it's all HTTP with some JPEGs going across. So let's take a look at those. And uh, a very easy way to view this is to export the objects, especially since we have uh, JPEGs. We don't want to look at JPEGs. Inside of Wireshark, we'd prefer to look at them outside. A nice viewer will save. Let me show you actually what these are. So these are different things that went across the wire, like second.html, uh, CSS, so styling, a picture, an icon. And you can see as I click that it shows you the, uh, the packets that were associated with sending this across and it's just gonna be a lot nicer if we save these all off to the file system so i'll do that in a new folder called saved objects and we'll go and we'll take a look at what we have so saved objects gives us this second.html Welcome to a secret page. Here's a picture for you. And we've got two vultures. So you look at my pantaloons. You look at my pantaloons. Uh, okay, great. We can inspect and we can try to find something like Pico. But we don't find anything. I've begun, whenever I see an image, I've done too many steganography challenges where it's just you need to use some tool and I don't learn anything. I'm burned out on steganography challenges. So what I've begun to do is there's this awesome tool from uh, John Hammond and I'll bring it up, Katana. Uh, yeah, perfect. And what it is is it's an automatic CTF solver that applies some, here we go. CTF challenge solver, it applies some very basic tooling to, uh, to try to do steganography and things like that. The way that it works is I have a Docker container that I'm gonna run over here. Let's see. Ah, this is the one that I wanted, yeah. So I'm gonna run this Katana um, Docker image and I'm mounting a directory, my CTF, into it. And when I do that, 
it has a directory called targets. And targets is being monitored. And when you add a file into it, Katana will run different unit tests to try to find files. Uh, so I am going to first remove all these old files. And then I'm going to copy what I had from my desktop saved objects. And I'm going to put it all here. And we'll see Katana found a whole bunch of new targets right here. It queued up a bunch of different tests. And we can see that performing a grep on vulture.jpg resulted in Pico CTF honey roasted peanuts. Now let's go ahead and let's just verify it. Oh, my computer is very sluggish with this running in the background. Let me, let me kill this. All right, that's better. Now let's just verify the work that they did. So it says that we can grep on this. So let's run strings on vulture and let's grep for Pico and let's see if that is true. And it is, this image was hiding a flag. So you can think this is a, a cheap way of, of finding things, but uh, to be honest, I'm not getting a whole lot out of steganography challenges at this point. And uh, it's, very frustrating when you have to run through a whole bunch of different tools for every image that you get because that might be an important clue or it might be a flag so i'm just liking this more anyway it's good stuff thanks appreciate it